Did you ever collect rocks as a child? Or maybe Barbie dolls, Beanie Babies, or something else? Uh, the price is 8,000 euros. It was stamps for me, I was a boring kid. You might laugh at it now, but those collections were tame compared to these. From locks of famous people's hair to a giant ball of chewed gum. Almost 200 pounds. Ah, uh, it's gotta be. Here are 15 of the weirdest collections in the the world. Number 15. Charlotte Lee and her rubber ducks. Charlotte Lee is a professor at the University of Washington. She's also a fabulous Ignite speaker while being a relatable, everyday human being. But there's also something about Charlotte that's different from most other people, and it'll make you say, what the duck? Yeah, that's right. As of 2011, she had 5,631 rubber ducks. So not only is she a respected university professor, but she's also a Guinness World Record holder. As if this lady couldn't get any cooler. The ducks of all shapes, styles, colors, and themes don't just sit in boxes in her garage either. Instead, they are displayed in showcases made of glass around the four walls of her duck room. That's right, she has a room dedicated to ducks. Charlotte has been collecting ducks for a number of years, and it's it's fair to say the hobby's gotten quickly out of hand. While the majority of ducks are of the traditional yellow coloring, not all of them are. Some are purple, green, black, white, or themed with outfits and hats. Some are also larger than others, which means there's no uniformity in her displays around her duck room. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14. Back Scratchers. No one can deny the convenience of a back scratcher. It's that one thing that can literally scratch your itch when your hands aren't quite long enough. But while most people will sing the praises of a back scratcher, they usually stop at the purchase of just one. After all, we've all only got one back to scratch. Maybe tell that to Manfred S. Rothstein from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Yes, he does have one back scratcher, but then he has 674 more of them. But no, we didn't just pop to his local shops and bulk buy, he carefully selected a different one from 71 countries. They are now all housed in his dermatology clinic in Fayetteville. Manfred holds the world record for the largest collection of back scratchers. That might be because very few other people need nearly 700 of them. Regardless, there's no denying his collection is something special. He began collecting in the 1970s, and now the dermatologist's collection attracts interest from across the country. The collection includes everything from wooden hand shapes through to cute and cuddly Disney critters, and everything in between. Number 13. Daleks. A spoon collection is a pretty normal collection to have. Even pens and pencils are something that people collect every day. But Daleks? Now that's less common. We are the same. Daleks are extraterrestrial mutants from the British science fiction TV show called Doctor Who. Strangely, Doncaster, England man Rob Hull doesn't like the show, but he holds the Guinness World Record for the largest Dalek collection. Let's take you back in time to when it all began. Rob Hull was just a young boy of seven years old, standing in the town square asking his mother for the Dalek toy in the shop window. She said no and that she couldn't afford it, but he kicked up a fuss. He clenched his fists and said, when I get big, I'll get my own Dalek. And so he did, albeit a bit late. Rob waited until he was 29 before buying his first Dalek, and now he has 571 of them including a six-foot replica model. The Daleks line a room in his house, and there's barely any room to walk in there. Not surprisingly, his wife isn't amused. Number 12, 
Coca-Cola Cans Collecting Coca-Cola merchandise is a relatively common hobby. After all, Coca-Cola made a point of producing as much merchandise as possible to make their brand something genuinely unique. But to have a collection of cans is something that little extra bit special. David Andriani from Italy received his first ever can of Coca-Cola in 1982 as a five-year-old. Before he knew it, he was collecting all different Coca-Cola cans from around the world. My main collection is bottled from all countries in the world. A collection helped along by his dad, who would bring them home from European business trips. By 2013, David had 10,558 unique Coke cans, and around 20,000 in total from 87 different countries. He now holds the world record for the largest single brand can collection. David is now 37, but his collection is bigger than ever. He has all his cans on display, but there'll be no sneaking a sip. David drains the drink from the bottom of the cans to make sure they don't oxidize or explode. That way, they stand a chance of lasting for many years to come and to be enjoyed by Coca-Cola fans like him. Number 11. Celebrity Hair Parents often keep a lock of hair from their little cherub's first haircut. Some children also keep a locket of their parents' hair when they pass away. Owning locks of hair is a beautiful memento. But as it turns out, it's also a crazy collection idea as well. John Raznikoff owns University Archives Incorporated, but the name of the business doesn't give too much away on what it's about. The company operates in Stamford, Connecticut, and it enables him to travel the globe. What for, you ask? To collect hair from celebrities. Guinness World Record, 8,130 plus trolls. For a number of years, John has made his way around the world, purchasing locks of hair from dead and living celebrities. Of course, he doesn't just go up to them and ask for their hair. He buys it from other sellers. He now owns hundreds of hair samples, including those from John F. Kennedy, Marilyn Monroe, and Abraham Lincoln. His collection is insured for around $1 million, and we're not surprised given how much it costs to buy celebrity hair. Hair clipped from Abraham Lincoln's head after his fatal head wound cost $3,500, while a few strands of George Washington's hair was $1,600. Apparently, there's a market for everything. Number 10, McDonald's. We're loving it. No, seriously, we are. Very few people have shown as much dedication to the fast food industry as McDonald's fan, 60-year-old Mike Fountaine. The Pennsylvania man has been a McDonald's merchandise collector since 1969, and his collection now includes around 75,000 pieces. Believe it or not, he still remembers the first piece that started his collection. He received a lapel pin on the one-year anniversary of his time working for the fast food outlet. The phrase, ketchup in your veins, is something we use in McDonald's. His collection grew from there, and now he has 99% of Happy Meal toys ever made, and a price tag of millions of dollars, according to his calculations. Mike says he has ketchup in his blood. McDonald's has been a significant significant part of his life since he was 15 years old, and he has dedicated much of his life to their products. Whenever he buys a new piece, he restores and preserves it so it looks nearly as good as it did when it was brand new. Most of us end up with a collection of sauce packets and straws from McDonald's, but very few can say they have thousands of toys. Number 9. Nicorette Gum now is the time when you start feeling reasonable and rational about your rock collection. While you're collecting pretty or unique or rare rocks, Barry Chapel has been collecting chewed Nicorette gum. While we're more inclined to say, you, that's gross, Barry says it has been a really fun project. We beg to differ, but to each their own. Barry is the host of the cable TV show, The Fine Art Showcase but we're here to tell you that his giant yellow ball of goop is not fine art. Instead, it's 95,200 pieces of chewed gum that he has been saving since 2006. 
The ball weighs 174.6 pounds and is 62 inches around. It all began when Barry's son was born. He went from being a heavy smoker to being someone who relied on Nicorette gum to curb the cravings. One day, he was on a long-haul flight to Europe when he had nowhere to put his gum. He rolled it into a ball, and that ball got larger as his trip went on. By the time he got home, the ball was something of a science project, and he slowly added more pieces. To mold and stretch the gum and put it into place, he puts it in a sauna and sculpts it. Just look at that uh, thing of beauty. Number 8. Pokemon. Well, as they say, gotta catch them all. So that's precisely what Lisa Courtney from Wellwyn Garden City, United Kingdom has been doing. She's been collecting them all. Lisa has the most extensive Pokemon memorabilia collection of anyone in the world. I'm also the world record holder for the largest collection of Pokemon memorabilia. And it's certainly impressive, with 17,127 items. The 31-year-old has been collecting Pokemon since she was 9, and the passion has only grown over the years. After all, you tend to have a few more dollars to play with as an adult than you did as a child. Lisa has memorabilia from across the UK, France, USA, and Japan. She has even made special trips to Japan just to buy more. Each time, she sends at least a dozen boxes full of items back to the UK. While trading cards make up a considerable proportion of the collection, so too do models, clothing, posters, flannels, badges, and anime cuddly toys. If it relates to Pokemon, Lisa has it. The collection grew so out of hand that Lisa's mom, who she lives with, had to downsize to their home's smaller bedroom to accommodate the ever-growing collection. Now that's dedication. Number 7. Dalmatian. This Dalmatian collection may have ended in divorce, but that doesn't mean it wasn't impressive while it lasted. While looking at it, you might think that Karen Ferrier was a fan of the Disney film 101 Dalmatians. The truth is, it was her real-life pet Dalmatian that brought about her desire to fill her home with Dalmatian-themed goods. Uh, right, you've got some um, key rings, you've got a collection of- At last count, she had around 3,500 items, with everything from rollerblades and puzzles to clothing, toilet paper, and polka-dotted mugs. If it looked slightly Dalmatian-like, Karen had to own it. She even went as far as to own a Dalmatian smart car. She also painted black dots on her furniture, purchased Dalmatian stuffed dogs, and had all manner of artwork and outfits with the hard-to-miss black spots and white fur. All that was missing was 101 real Dalmatians. Unfortunately, after her divorce, Karen had to sell her entire collection, which was worth a few thousand dollars. Still, if it landed in the right person's hands, they're bound to just be out there somewhere in the world adding to it and growing it on a far larger scale. Just don't go telling Cruella de Vil where it's at. Number 6. Barbie Doll Barbie has been a favorite toy of millions of little boys and girls since 1959. Since then, around one billion dolls have been purchased and ended up in the hands of young and old. But do you know who likely has the most out of all those dolls ever made? German woman Bettina Dorfman. Friend of Barbie, this is the Mitch doll. This avid fan has over 15,000 Barbies, and all of them are in her home. Bettina has been collecting Barbie dolls since 1993, and has amassed the most extensive collection out of the 100,000 or so other Barbie collectors in the world. According to the Dusseldorf-based woman, her passion for Barbie grew when she realized how great for kids they were. She liked how you could buy them new outfits, change their clothes, and even wash their hair. Even though her daughter preferred the more modern Barbies to the older ones, Bettina started keeping them for herself. 
The collection incorporates both modern day and vintage dolls, some which are now desirable collector's pieces. Given the size of the collection, you wouldn't expect it to just sit in a few cardboard boxes under her bed. Instead, it takes up a considerable amount of space in her basement, living room, and a separate room set up for the dolls called Barbie's Kingdom. She even turns her hobby into a bit of a business with a Barbie hospital set up to repair broken dolls for customers. Number 5. Raggedy Ann Dolls There have been many instances where people form loves for items as children, so they grow up collecting them, like Barbie dolls, for example. But there are equally as many cases where the love for something was always there, but collecting didn't happen until much, much later in life. Most of my neighbors do not know what goes on in this house. Tampa resident Robin Amato's collection of Raggedy Ann dolls is an example of that. Robin has been collecting the dolls and memorabilia for around 20 years. Still, she didn't own her first Raggedy Ann doll until she was 40. Now, Robin has over 3,000 dolls in her home, with a price tag of around $20,000. Fortunately, Robin said, she has a very understanding husband. The red-haired dolls fill up many free parts of the home, and she also has cookie jars and other fun-themed items. Robin said she has gradually added to the collection over the years, and it's incredible how big it has grown. The dolls aren't Robin's first collecting rodeo, however. Before the dolls, she had a significant collection of Precious Moments figurines. However, needing to pay for new carpet in her house, she had to sell the collection to fund it. The doll collection took the Precious Moments one's place. Number 4. Traffic Cones You'd be right for thinking that the world's largest collection of traffic cones belongs to roading companies. After all, they use millions of them in road management. But instead, that title belongs to British engineer David John Morgan, whose collection incorporates over 500. David claims to have invented the plastic road cone in 1960, and it was his company that produced much of them. So you might think he just has 500 duplicates of cones in his home, but that is not the case at all. David says that traffic cones come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. As the models change, so does his collection. Often, he'll find out where road workers are and go look for them. However, he has also spotted them in unusual places like village halls and from undertakers. Everywhere David goes, he always seems to be able to add a new traffic cone to his collection. Very sad when you see a cone that's been discarded and it's done its work. However, he never steals them, as he understands their essential role as a safety product. Instead, he takes new ones with him to swap. As far as unusual collections go, this one would have to take the cake. Or the cone. Number 3. Dresses. You might have thought that a shopaholic friend or family member had the biggest collection of dresses in the world, but that title belongs to Paul Brockman. Whenever I seen a nice dress, I bought it. This man has 55,000 dresses that he has purchased for his wife. To look at the collection, you might be inclined to think that it belongs to a dressmaker or a business who sells them. Instead, all the dresses belong to one person. He visits garage sales, estate sales, and businesses, and does shopping trips on a whim as he heads from one job site to the next. Paul worked as a contractor in California, and his wife had a passion for ballroom dancing. Paul noticed how pretty the satins, silks, and embellishments were on dresses, so he wanted to make sure his wife had a dress for every dance and occasion. Now, she has enough for 55,000 of them. The dresses fill two shipping containers and a garage, not to mention a warehouse. Now, he has started selling them one by one, while charging people to come to view the beautiful vintage collection for themselves. Number 2. Hot Sauce have you ever been cleaning out your car only to discover a dozen or more unopened packets of sauce from takeout restaurants? You might have thought it was a bit odd to have a sauce collection of sorts, so you threw them away. Maybe you shouldn't have, because over time, you may have been able to rival the man who has 6,000 bottles of hot sauce. In the world's record hot sauce collection with 
Vic Selenko, this is amazing. Vic Klinko from Phoenix, Arizona has the most extensive collection of hot sauce in the world, and we're pretty impressed. Vic works at the Four Seasons Hotel and prides himself on knowing what decent hot sauce is. He has a rare bottle of Blair's 16 million reserve, which is considered the hottest sauce in the world. He also has a bottle worth around $900, but has never paid more than $400 for a single bottle. The bottles of hot sauce line the walls of his home and are even crammed into cupboards and other nooks and crannies. You'll be hard pressed to find any part of his house that isn't a shrine to this spicy condiment. Number 1. Vintage Appliances Vintage appliances have been making a comeback for some time. People are falling in love all over again with the simplistic, rounded designs, pastel shades, and robustness of appliances from days gone by. But while replicas are flooding the shelves of retail stores, you'll find nothing but the best vintage offerings at the homes of Robert and Fred. The pair have amassed around $40,000 worth of vintage appliances, with around 400 of them in total. Everything from washers and toasters to Hoover vacuums and mix masters makes up the collection. Setting, so you want it to be warm, you don't want it to be cold and sterile, and also we like to be able to use our things. They own no less than two dozen washers and dryers, and they refuse to use a washing machine made after 1965. There's an old saying that gets thrown around quite a lot, and it's they don't make them like they used to. It's clear to see that Robert and Fred think so too. Won't find any mod cons in their home, that's for sure. The best part is, as the market for vintage appliances blooms, so too does their price tag. Their $40,000 collection could be worth considerably more in the future. As it turns out, your rock collection or doll set wasn't so weird after all. You can even go back to collecting them without feeling judged. What did you collect as a child or adult? Anything interesting? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.